Is China ready for these innovative, energy-saving, green uh, products? Here in Guangzhou, um, the market is there, mm -hmm. but most people don't know how to deal with it, yes. how to do it. So the problem is to, yeah, to educate the people much more. Mm. As I said before, the same in Germany. We needed 30 years. It's not mm. next year mm. everything is fine. Mm. A lot of details, a little step mm. here, a little step mm. there. For example, if you, if you use a window like that, yes. and you still have your, your concrete wall without mm. any insulation, mm. Mm. then you will produce mildew, mm. mold again. Um, so it's a combination. Not uh, you cannot only ask the, the supplier who is uh, producing this. You also need a good wall. Yes. So where do I get a good wall? What is a good wall? Mm. What do you mean by that? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you see a lot of questions. A lot of an architect is uh, yeah in need for. Yes. Yeah. And I brought this as an example. You can look at home in, uh, to see your window. It's probably not uh, so complex like this. It's a normal um, yeah, aluminum metal yep. window. And it is um, divided into one, two, three layers. Mm -hmm. This layer is made out of uh, plastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it is, let's say in Guangzhou, very hot outside and you cool down your place, uh, here it's very cold, uh, the cold area will stay cold mm -hmm. because the temperature cannot go through this material. Can't transfer across. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, this is the normal window. Yes, would be the normal window, and also the quality of this. It's yeah, mm. it's not shaking at all. Mm. If you close this window and you have have a big street in front of you, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You close the window, yeah. the sound stays out. So it's not only yeah. only heat and uh, thermal mm. conductivity, mm. it's also sound mm. insulation. Its application is uh, commercial or domestic? Both. Both. Um, in office buildings, they start to use mm. it mm. now regularly. Mm. Uh, unfortunately for residentials, they don't because the buyers, yes. they don't know this. Mm. People, uh, they walk into a new room into a new apartment they want to buy and then they look at the furniture maybe the the wall oh it's a nice stone and and uh, i like this uh, toilet mm. but no one looks about the quality of the window yes yeah? yes the first thing i do when i go inside i shake uh, the window shake the window <laughs> and uh, it rattles and hums okay yeah. it's yeah. so this is even more important mm. 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 so mm. we have to educate the people as mm. well so they mm. ask for it yeah how are the local uh, governments looking at these things, both uh, China as a nation and Guangdong as a province, as an example? Are they beginning to specify these products in their own buildings? Yes, and they are very interested in that as well. Um, the Beijing government is very interested, also Guangdong. Mm. Guangdong is, has a good relationship with Germany ab about this. So they try to get more and more in that. Mm. If you think of Guangzhou, four years ago when I came here, mm. We never, never, not a single day had a blue sky. Never. That's right. And now, if you go outside, we have quite nice, mm. um, yeah, light. The air is not still not perfect, of course, but it's getting better, mm. thanks to Asian uh, South yeah. Asian Games, Games in 2010. Yeah. Yeah. So the government cares. Mm. They, they again, I have to say, step by mm. step by step. We cannot expect tomorrow everything mm. is fine. Mm. So they also make a lot of effort to uh, uh, get more products, more new technology mm. from outside and uh, yeah, uh, let them produce, even the, the, mm. the, the companies let them produce in China yeah. for the domestic market. Mm. The domestic mm. market is getting more and more important mm. also for Absolutely. Chinese government. Absolutely, yeah. How responsive are local Chinese architects two new technologies. I want to quickly continue by saying you introduced a product to me recently which was looked like charcoal from a barbecue mm. and mm. Uh, I was very excited by it. And I, Can yeah, you just, I, I, I just show, show us what that's about? This one is really a little strange because this looks like, like coal. Yeah? And if you show this to people they, they think what do you want with that? Yeah, and it's interesting. Oh, so, so if I'll put this to the microphone, and it's a 
It's like a glass sound. Yeah, almost. it's it's made of waste glass. Uh, we recycle glass, 100% glass, and it's it's very light. It's about one eighth of uh, of of water, mm. the, uh, so it will swim. And uh, this material is an insulation material. You, uh, it's so strong, yeah. The compression, mm. compressive mm. strength is so hard. You can build the whole building on it. Mm. So the building is insulated from from all sides. All directions. Yeah. You can use it for um, for the roof. You can use it ab uh, above underground garages. So you can also use it as a construction material, mm. yeah, to make landscaping mm. and such things. Um, or in some places, um, you make a new street and uh, the ground cannot bear so much load. Yes, yes. So you just use this. Mm. You were in a symposium recently yeah. featuring this product to a, a variety of Chinese architects. How do they react to it? Uh, they, are, they are quite interested in that because uh, so far we have this product in um, Europe for almost 20 years, but oh in China mm. you cannot buy this. Mm. What you can buy in chi China right now, sorry for that, is also this called cellular glass, form glass. Um, it's the same material as that, but as a board. Yes. Yeah? Not as a gravel. And this you can uh, use for insulation of the wall, the mm. outside wall, and also for the roof. Mm. Um, and this is almost the perfect material here in, in Guangzhou when it comes to, to our humid area, to mm. the moisture, mm. because it's glass. It and doesn't no mold. Yeah, no mold, of course. Mm. Mm. It, it will last forever, yeah? it, it has no problem in, in this. Mm. And the last, most important <laughs> thing of this, it doesn't burn. So and it's fire, fire retardant. Absolutely yeah. fireproof. Yeah. So think of the problems mm. we have also in China. Sure. The, mm. the mm. high rises, when they start to mm. have fire, a lot of people mm. died mm. in some accidents. With this product, mm. we don't have this problem yeah. anymore. Yeah. So you see, new materials mm. can be first look quite boring, yes. but they are amazing. What you can solve the with yeah. them, the versatility yeah. is enormous. Yeah. Yeah. Should China look at designing, developing, and building totally new cities in the western part of the country, or should she look at the major cities, say a Guangzhou, and create satellite cities around it? I think uh, we already have such a big infrastructure, mm. such a big structure mm. here in, in Guangdong, mm. in, in this Pearl River Delta, why do the same thing somewhere else by, by, yeah, by scratch, yeah, by mm. Mm. completely new? So we should use what we have. Yes, yes. Um, there's one bad thing with uh, transport and infrastructure, you know, we have traffic jams every, uh, every day and we cannot make the, the streets wider and That's wider. Right. <laughs> mm. uh, so we have to yeah, solve this problem. Go vertical, perhaps. Yeah. But uh, mm. if if we have another city far away, this problem is not solved yeah. anyway. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, use the resources we have. You've been um, in Guangzhou now for four years. You were saying, what does a German architect do for fun in Guangzhou? <laughs> a German architect never has fun because he <laughs> <it> always <laughs> works. <sighs> oh, um, well. I think I do the same as everyone else. Mm. I uh, spent my time with friends. I met mm. some really nice Guangzhou people mm. here. So that's mm. one of the yeah the main advantage mm. I, I mm. think here in yeah. Guangzhou yeah. or yeah. even in China. Mm. You really uh, have very nice people here. So I try to yeah go out the city a little bit. It's for me everything related with water. Mm. I love. Mm. Yes, yeah, swimming, yeah. sailing, yeah. or scuba diving. So I try to do that uh, as much as possible. It's and a good walk idea. Walk around. Yeah, and just look at the the seemingly endless uh, sights that are in Guangdong. Gunda, our time has elapsed. It's really? been a true oh. delight, and I thoroughly it was a enjoyed pleasure it. To Thank you here. so much Thank indeed. Thank you for this. Well, that's all for today. And don't forget, you can catch up on the latest FaceTime on Weibo. And we also love to hear from you via email, positive and negative. The address is now showing on your bottom of your screen. My name is Peter Guy from GDTV World Headquarters in Guangzhou. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>